So the ice cream was starting to tell us about a lot of uh, upcoming uh, guest stars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she's teasing. She's teasing. Wow. wow. You should have waited. I was like, you should have waited so in trouble. He's trouble. He's I'm like, I'm really going to go ask him. Trouble. Really. trouble. <laughs> wow. That's a good way I to do it. With my it. <laughs> Mom told me I could yeah. do it. Really? I'm going to go ask her. Are you sure she's going to say that? Or what if the Jesus was coming? Yeah. 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 Well, leave it to Orlando. <laughs> and he's playing Jesus. <laughs> 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 okay. No. So the captain. Keep following him around. Share, please. Uh, <laughs> Excuse him. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a gray area okay. there. I can't tell if she's bad or good. Good. Can you tell us more about uh, what's coming up with her? Well, all I can tell you is that she believes in her mission, and I think she, well, although I'm saying, I think she, uh, she's good, as far as I'm concerned. The way I'm playing her, she's good and she's right. But then my friend said, well, people, uh, bitches always think that. <laughs> but I don't think she's a bitch at all. I think she can't, she's not there to play, and she's not giving anybody an inch, you know, because frankly, I think it's, it, we're in a, comp uh, what's the word? It's, uh, we're in a very dangerous situation in Sleepy Hollow. And if you find bodies that are headless, more than one in a week, <laughs> that's kind of like, we got, it's, it's a dangerous situation. And I'm trying to get it under control. I mean, I think sometimes you don't see her and you're like, is she really getting this under control? But when I'm there, I'm on task to do that. So I think I approached in that first episode, I approached everybody the way, the best way I could in order to get in and get as much information as I could. So. Yeah. I, I really like crafting very strong characters with a, a distinct and strong point of view and Sheriff Reyes I think has that and gives that element in, in a way that yeah I mean walking into this town and going the chaos where the last guy in charge, you know, was just thrown in jail for <laughs> double murder. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, cops! Yeah, yeah. and agree. Sheriffs don't fare too well as leaders. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's not so far. But, you know, she comes in there knowing all that, but also having come from, you know, what she feels is a pretty pretty damn tough place, too. And, right. you know, save for the apocalypse, she's right. Yeah, I think I'm right. That's right. <laughs> and you're I'm joining right. you're joining a, a cast that's known for a lot of really strong and complicated and vulnerable female characters. Yeah. And you're just sort of adding to that pile, which is awesome for us. And how... Um, had you been familiar with those characters before? With Jenny? I had, ne I had never seen Sleepy Hollow, and I, I was, I watched. She was busy with House of Cards. I was, really busy. Busy. I was busy, but actually, I'm so new to this whole world, and I just feel blessed that I have met it finally. Because I, I don't know. When I was younger, I think it wasn't the type of show that I thought I could relate to in any way. So if I am the new audience that is completely transformed and completely emotionally connected to these characters, which is what the, the writing is so good because you care about every single character and as ludicrous as the situations get, they're all grounded. I mean, I, you, can, you can see a, a crazy creature and then be weeping because it's all there. So I didn't know and I'm new to it. So I watched 12 episodes, whatever, tw was it 12 13. episodes? 13 episodes. Oh yeah, see, she's not, she's 13. <laughs> <laughs> she is a bitch. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna no, write. Right, okay. I, I was just uh, so thrilled to be part of it. And you know, I'm coming in as a realistic factor, right. so that's something else, but uh, who knows what will happen. What was it like transitioning from a political, very real show like House of Cards to something that shit crazy like Sleepy Hollow. Well, see, I think they're it's, monsters. it's totally, totally yeah. grounded. I mean, you yeah. can call Frank Underwood a monster. You yeah, can call all is. kinds of people monsters on our show, doing monstrous things, and they're neither one is far fetched. So I think it's actually a very similar world. Where I was going to be Frank Underwood for Halloween. So. <laughs> Yeah, it would be awesome. I mean, there's chaos in Washington and there's chaos in Sleepy Hollow. It's not that different. You know, I don't know if I would call it a friendship. I care deeply about both of them. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think they. Abby trusts me more, certainly, and also I think Abby sees that I see in her the potential of a, a somebody great working next to me and helping solve this thing, so I want to get her on my side, 
And Ichabod, I don't know what the heck he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's just ludicrous that he's even there. And Jenny, you know, she was... I know that there were issues for, with her when she was younger, but right now I see her as a little bit of a, a danger to Abby, and not necessarily the best person in her sphere, as Icky is not the best person in her sphere. But, you know, we'll see how that changes. I, I love Reyes's no bullshit about yeah. any of this. Yeah. She's really, you know, and, and there's a distance that I think she puts in between them because she doesn't want to have to deal with what happens when you have emotional attachments. Yeah. When you have emotional attachments, you get what happens between Katrina and Crane, and right. um, you know Abraham and Crane. And those can be a problem when you're at war. And right. she's a tough character looking at this as, you know, as war. And I do hope that with all these tougher characters where they don't show their emotions, I hope you see color mm -hmm. elsewhere. That it's not, you know, when you're giving a hard line, that hopefully you get to see that there are other aspects of that they're feeling other things and th that's actually why we knew we could cast Sakina for this part because as tough as we could make her we knew that she would bring a, a humanity to it I like this set. <laughs> it's so nice did you get that on tape play it over <laughs> we'll send it to you so as such a tough character and somebody who could really be throwing a wrench into the plans is is the sheriff going to be targeted by Malik and the horsemen? Is that I don't know. Jenny targeted me, so I don't know what's coming up. I don't know. It could be bad news for them. <laughs> so the kindred was one of my favorite monsters we've seen on the show. Awesome. Uh, it's just sort of off doing God knows what. <laughs> Kindred-like things, yes. yeah. Are we going to see him come back? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable we have, character. I think he, he's got some grand plans, so you know, it'll be fun to see how, yeah. how he plays out in the rest of the season. You don't, don't forget about him, is what yeah. I say. Well, uh, will, will Sheriff Reyes, will, will she mostly be on the outside of the, of the madness, or will she like, be drawn in, even though she doesn't entirely know what's, what, is, what is happening? Like, will, she, will, will, she, will she mix it up? Will she get into a couple of fights? Yeah, uh, sheriffs. Um, I, well, in the first half of the season, the, so this year we're doing 18 episodes. The first 11 uh, are in this, this year, we, we run straight. So uninterrupted from now through December, which is great. In the first half of the season, we sort of build to a big mid-season finale. Um, Sheriff Ray has is not going to know as much about the supernatural, and I sort of like that as a, a point of entree and a, something that I think we um, will help with, with almost like an audience perspective on the craziness of Sleepy Hollow. Um, and then we'll mix things up in the second half and uh, be a lot of surprises. <laughs> Yeah. Is it very important? Um, yeah. I was going to say one other thing about the Kindred, not to forget, is he's got the horseman's head. Yeah. So that's an important uh, artifact yeah. in, in the lore of Sleepy Hollow. As we learn more about uh, uh, Abby and James Bob, are we actually going to see her? Are we going to see her in flashbacks with, in her relationship to the sheriff and her two daughters? Are we going to see her in present time? Uh, yeah, we do a lot with um, Abby this season learning about her history as she really is trying to understand her role as a witness and how that's impacted her family and her ancestry. Um, because what we learn is it's, there's a much bigger picture that becomes clear um, by the end of this season. And um, we will have full episodes with where we really get to, to meet her mother. One of the so. things that uh, I thought about a lot when I was reading the first scripts, the, this first season, watching the first season, was it just made me think about mental health in a very different way. In a way where I... I, I, the mother left. Why? And she had a reason for leaving. Yeah, and I, I just I think it's a beautiful gift that the show gives you to think about. Well, what's real? What's not real? You know? I think to, to me one of the one of the most one of my most favorite things about the show is the fantasy element. We can take on really serious issues and otherwise issues that are very hard to digest and contextualize them in this crazy fantasy show so that they're really entertaining and yeah. fun. Yeah. And it allows us to explore darkness with some light. 